What's going on, everybody? My name is Andrew Yalo, and today we're going to be reacting live to the Big Brother 26 cast. The cast bios and pictures just dropped. Uh, I woke up this morning to a bunch of leaks that were roaming around Twitter. Already, people have already started to dig into some of these people's lives. I'm going to be learning these people's names for the first time. I'm going to be seeing how old they are, their hometown, current city, occupation, all that fun stuff. So we're going to get right into it. This first contestant here is Angela Murray from Long Beach, California, currently living in Syracuse, Utah. She's a real estate agent. Uh, honestly, I would have thought this was just straight from her LinkedIn. Uh, straight up, I would have been thinking like this is one of them spam bots on, on LinkedIn trying to get me to apply for a job that I don't need or am qualified for. So what do we think about Angela just based on a picture and a occupation? There's nothing really to go off of when you see this, but the first thing I can really just say is that I'm glad that we're getting older people on Big Brother. It's been, um, you know, a long time since Big Brother has really, like, included older people on their cast. I mean, we saw it last year with Felicia Cannon, which was America's favorite house guest, you know, in our hearts, but not, you know, the actual one that won. I don't know, like, what, what, what can we, what can we really say about Angela here? You know, like, she's, she looks like she'll be the mom of the house i don't know that's like i guess that's the best first impression i can get realistically like if i saw her in the house i don't i wouldn't think of her as a threat i would probably assume that she's watched like every season of the show for sure like i, I would like if i was in the house and i was looking at her i'd be like oh yeah she's definitely a super fan and she's gonna downplay that a whole hell of a lot as far as like anything else yeah 50 go you you know go you you know i wish my parents would apply for the show so you know, we'll see what a 50 year old white woman from Long Beach, California is going to bring to the table this year. All right. Next up, we have Brooklyn Rivera. She's from Covington, Georgia, currently living in Dallas, Texas. Uh, I hope that's Dallas, Texas. I don't know where else Dallas would be, but yeah, that's Dallas. OK, she's 34. OK, business administrator. Now, I will say this this person I do know a little bit about because of people being absolutely freakishly good at finding things, finding things out about people. Um, Brooklyn Rivera is apparently really close friends with Aaron Grease from Big Brother 15. Now think of it, think of this guys. Why would Big Brother cast Brooklyn Rivera? Why? Why would they, like, why would they cast anybody in relation to Aaron Grease? Aaron Grease is probably the most infamously known Big Brother contestant for being openly racist on their show. It's very, very interesting. I, I mean, I'm going to give her a chance. I'm not going to totally, you know, throw. And this is the thing. I think that people on Twitter are very fast to cast people aside, right? And they're also really fast to stand people, right? Like last year we were standing people. We probably shouldn't have stand. We so give my girl a chance. Maybe she's not like her friend Aaron. I hope not. And I would really hope that the Big Brother casting team wouldn't get it wrong for a fourth year in a row. You know what I mean? Like, I'm going to give Brooklyn Rivera a chance. I'm from Brooklyn. Well, not from Brooklyn. I'm living in Brooklyn right now. So we got to give somebody with the name Brooklyn a chance. Right, guys? I don't know. I hope we're just... I mean, okay. So looks-wise, let, let's get into, like, how she looks and how she presents herself. She looks like she will be a personality, right? She got a great smile. Like, she seems pretty confident. Um, business administrator. What does that mean? I don't know. I'm a YouTuber. All right, number three, we have Cam Sullivan Brown. I'm just going to call you Cam. Are you Cameron? I hope not. Oh, wow. He's from Bowie, Maryland. Maybe he knows Bowie Jane. Uh, 25 years old. He's a physical therapist. All right. I mean, he's tatted up. He's clearly, clearly works out. This guy's going to be a bro. He's going to be the guy that probably tries to start the all male alliance. That's my guess. I mean, listen, when you've seen 20, 25 seasons of Big Brother, there's only so many things that can happen on a season. And you look at this guy and you're like, he's definitely starting the all male alliance. It's either that or he's like a mama's boy and he's going to try to like make an alliance with him and all the women. That's what I can see happening. I could see him aligning with Angela and being like a mother son type of deal, like alliance, because, you know, he's half her age. So, I mean, you look at that and it's kind of, it's kind of, it's something like that could happen. I don't know. He's tatted up so that, you know, like Denise on Survivor says, you know, you, there's obviously a story going on here. So, yeah. All right. Number four, we have Cedric Hodges. 
This is not Aiden Hodges from Big Brother Minecraft. This is Cedric Hodges, all right? 21, he's a young guy. He looks like a car salesman. What is he? He's a former Marine. Former Marine at 21 is actually insane. Okay. Uh, from California, living in Idaho. Idaho is pretty cool. It's beautiful up there. A former Marine. Like, what happened? Why is he a former Marine? Did he join the military right out of high school? Really didn't like it? Decided to live a more, like free-spirited life moving to Idaho like I mean that's that's what I'm getting but he's really giving like car salesmen like here I feel like I'd walk into a car dealership and this is the guy that would come and greet me like realistically like this is who I imagine seeing when I walk into a car dealership like I'm ready to go buy a new Hyundai and this guy's pulling up the door being like can I help you with anything today that's this guy Chelsea we have Chelsea 27 from Rancho Cal a lot of people from California a lot of California people uh, Rancho California, uh, she's a non-profit director. I don't know what that means. So, I apologize. I don't know what that means. A non -pro Oh, she, like, directs non-profits. That makes sense. So, she's obviously does a, uh, it's a non-profit charity. Like, is that what that means? I don't know. Like, guys, I'm sorry. I I'm not a genius, guys. I'm a YouTuber. I make videos about Big Brother and Survivor, okay, guys? Don't come at me. She seems like she's pretty nice. I don't really know what to go off of here. Like, she's got a good smile. Like, I don't know what to really go off of here. Like, how do I think she's going to play the game? Like, how are you supposed to assess how they're going to play the game? I don't know. Like, what Like, what do we think about how she's going to play? She doesn't... She seems like she looks short. Like, I feel like she's short. She remind. Okay. She... She's giving... This is a really... This is a stretch. She's giving me Caitlyn Herman vibes for some reason. Like, I don't know why. I could feel her being, like delusional and crazy like Caitlyn was and I'm sorry Caitlyn I love you but like in that sense all right this guy this guy I feel like we got to watch out for this guy that's all I'm gonna say he's giving first boot energy this guy is Joseph Rodriguez 30 from Tampa Florida he's a Florida man big red alert red alert everybody sign sign the alarms red alert Florida man but he's a video store clerk so this guy clearly still works at Blockbuster even after they've closed all the Blockbusters in, in the United States I don't know what to like I don't know what to like make of him like the mustache is a little weird like personally I probably would have shaved it I hope he shaves it like I feel like they're gonna do a whole f***ing bit on him like shaving his mustache like big brother would do something like that where it's like the whole house is telling him how ugly his mustache is looking and then it's gonna be a 20 minute segment of him shaving his mustache and it's gonna like totally take away from all the insane strategy we're about to get but I feel like he's definitely, I don't know, man. Like these cast photos really throw you off. Like I really could be wrong about a lot of this shit, but I feel like he's going to say some problematic shit. That's my, that's my, that's my guess. He's a video store clerk. I'm not trying to throw any, any judgments out here, guys. But like, I'm thinking he's like a GameStop employee when I see video store clerk, like a video store clerk, what if it's a video game store clerk? Like, I'm thinking this guy works at GameStop and he's just like a real, like... I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop myself, guys. I realize I'm being too insensitive. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Like, there's nothing to go off of otherwise, other than the fact that he's got the weirdest f***ing, like, handlebar mustache. Like, dude thinks he's from the OCC. He's about to make a chopper or something. I don't know. Now, this guy, I hope this guy's our winner. I always root for the older guys. I don't know why. I think it's just because, like, I feel like I personally identify more with older people. Like, I don't I don't know why. I just feel like I'm more mature for my age, I, th I think, at least. But, like, uh, this guy, uh, Kenny. Kenny Kelly. Okay. Kenny. Kenny Kelly. Kenny Kelly. I don't know. Kenny? Uh, 52 from Boston. He's a former undercover cop. Okay. So, here's a few things that are going to happen. Obviously, when they're in sequester, everyone's given BB-16 to watch. And they're already, they're, they might sniff him out. He's got the cop look. You know, he's got that look. He's probably going to talk like a cop. Um, maybe he'll... May, I, I hope... I hope he's like... I hope he's like our big brother version of Tony Vlacos, bro. I don't really know, like, what to expect from undercover cops. Like, you can either be, like, Steve from BB-20 undercover cop... Or you can be like your 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 Derek Levasseur like cop. Like there's I it's it's one it's one or the other. Um I could see him falling in the middle and being like a Kathy.
cop. Like, maybe? I don't know. Good on this guy for being 52 and being, like, fit enough to, like, want to do this show. Like, God, man. Gotta give this guy props. Kenny, I'm interested to see what he does this season. Like, give us some good content. Like, if you know you can't win, like, go out swinging, man. Oh, look at this guy from Hawaii. Kimo. This guy, number eight. 35 from Hawaii? And he's a mattress sales rep. That's a first. I don't think we've had a mattress sales rep on um, on Big Brother before. That's a first. This guy is, uh, you know. No, I don't want to say anything that I'm probably wrong about. But, like, just the picture is giving that he's probably, like, the, the token gay of the cast. I don't want to assume that. But, like, I don't know what it's giving. Maybe the shirt. I don't know. But that's what it's giving. I don't know. I'm interested to see, like, what he does, you know. Like, okay, 35 from... I don't think we've ever had anybody from Hawaii on the show. Uh, interesting. So, that's cool. Now, guys. Now, guys. Um, this might be her. This might be the one. Um, Leah Peters, 26, from Pittsburgh, living in Miami. You gotta show us what you're working with, Leah. Like, you gotta... You gotta really, like, go into that diary room and really pull out your inner Brittany Haynes because that's what a lot of people on Twitter were comparing you to. A lot of people were saying that you looking like Brittany Haynes, maybe her, like, sister, long-lost sister. Yeah, like, honestly, I mean, I've been a fan of Big Brother since Big Brother 11, and um, I've been watching it live since Big Brother 11, and she is definitely giving, like, BB12 Brittany. I can't shake that image out of my head of BB12 Brittany. Like, I don't know what it is, but, like... It's giving Brittany Haynes. And I'm here for it. I has the same occupation as like I'm pretty sure Portia from BB13. I hope she's not as like excruciating as Portia was. I feel like she's gonna be fun on feeds. I can see her getting in like fights with people. I hope that'd be fun, right? We want to see we want to see people getting into fights. I feel like she could probably do it. She could probably be the one to do it. Now this one here, Lisa, 33, Los Angeles. She's a celebrity chef. Now I actually know a chef that is a celebrity well that does cooking for celebrities my good friend olivia teedman she's a good friend of mine and she became famous recently and she's a chef for celebrities now lisa i wonder if now is she a is she a celebrity chef is it is she a celebrity that's also a chef or is she a celebrity from being a chef i don't know this is these are the questions i need answered Let's look at her outfit. She's wearing a strawberry outfit. This is, this is giving uh, Nicole Franzel BB-18. Let me see. Now, I'm not saying this woman right here is going to be the winner. I don't think she has what it takes. She looks pretty evil. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, she looks like she's evil from this photo. Now, guys, I'm judging based on photos alone. I'm not, I'm not judging based on, like, anything, you know. I'm just judging based on these first. I don't know. I'm making shit up. But yeah, she looks, she definitely looks like she's going to start some chaos in the house. She definitely looks like just, I don't know. She just seems like she's not, she's going to be like annoyed by everybody. If she is a celebrity chef, if she's like actually a celebrity who just happens to be a chef, or if she's just a chef for celebrities. Yeah, she's got a little bit of a higher standard than a lot of these people probably are. Like I can see her getting on the nerves of some of these like dirty men for not cleaning up after themselves like she would be the one to call them out she'd be the danielle reyes to call somebody out for not washing their damn hands that's what i think all right we have another mother quake hitting hitting the internet right here we have mackenzie 22 holy shit from houston okay she's a construction project manager okay if now, if that's the case, she might be like a blue collar worker, which means she's definitely like cowgirl boots. Like her, she's going to be like, have the more like the really token Texan intro package we're going to see on premiere night. That's what I think. So that's who we got to look out for right here. She's going to be like your, your, your Southern Belle, Texas girl. She probably like, where, why are we getting all these Texas girls? She'll probably either get really, she'll probably get along really good with Brooklyn or she's going to like really like be at odds with her because they're both Texas girls. She's pretty. I could see her getting in a showman's. Like if anybody were to get a showman's on this cast, it is definitely her. I could be wrong, but she's definitely like Christian, like has like very, very like 
traditional values and she's probably looking for like a husband on this show if anything and if it were to be anybody to, that she'd marry it's this guy right here he's she's gonna get in a showman's with this dude matt Har hardman matt hardman 25 from uh, georgia he's a tech sales rep now i don't know i don't know what to make of this guy he seems like he probably would get canceled he'd probably be like the first boot um based on like how th the most recent seasons have gone like i don't really know how to how to really assess this dude here just based on his photo like i feel like he looks like me um he's probably the one in the cast that looks most like me um not saying i am as, as handsome as this guy because he's clearly got a better jawline than i do uh and probably better teeth like I, you don't see him with a tooth gap so uh this guy's definitely got like what i don't have clearly if I gotta root for anybody, it's gotta be this guy, cause he he he, you know, resembles me the most. I guess this guy's gonna be boring. I just I can already tell he's gonna be pretty boring. I could be wrong, and he could be the the most crazy villain we've ever seen. But he seems like he's gonna be pretty fucking boring. All right, Quinn Martin. Now, okay, Quinn, you're the interesting person on the cast. But what is a nurse recruiter like? What is what does that type of person do? Um very interesting i don't know what to really make of you you're definitely like the most interesting looking person on this cast like you're definitely the most out there you've got the most unique look they i feel like twitter is definitely gonna like this person i feel like they're gonna probably be like the izzy of this cast i feel like they're gonna probably get a lot of shit preseason, but then like during the season they're gonna be like the most favorited person uh i could see them being like really emotional on the season for some reason i could just see them like crying a lot I don't know. That's just kind of like what I feel. I like to go back after the season ends and go back to this video and see how much I got right. It'd be really cool to see how much of a good like eye of character I have. Rubina Barnaby, an event bartender. So I'm thinking of it this way. If there was like a premiere party or a finale party, like this is the person that would be a bartender, which like, you know, sometimes, sometimes they're pretty shitty bartenders. There's a lot going on with like the neck area, like the, the jewelry. There's a lot of interesting things going on. I'm, I'm curious to know like what all of that means. There's a lot of charms. They might be into, you know, I don't know, 35. Like, do you have kids? Like, I don't know, like shit. They look like they're going to like make a lot of like moments though. Like you'll see like on Twitter, like it's either that or you'll end up like McCole and, and, and like just blend in with the walls this season and maybe not play the game. Like I don't really see them playing the game too much pre-jury that's that's what it's giving me for some reason i don't know that's that's just what i feel from this to core i hope i'm saying it right to core 23 from atlanta chicago via london oh so she's a british she's british she's british living in atlanta she's a crochet business owner okay i can see that her shirt was made by her that shirt is a crochet shirt good for her wow she's british that's gonna that's gonna be really cool um interesting to say the least 23 being a business owner 23 must be really smart i don't know if she's i mean she may she may tell people she's a crochet i mean she's probably really proud of what she does she'll probably be honest with her occupation because i bet you like all her clothing is all crochet but yeah i don't really know like what to what to make of her it seems like she, she's very nice she's got a nice smile like you know, she seems pretty smart, probably because of her glasses. The fact that she's a business owner. Yeah, she looks she looks like she could be pretty strategic. Now, this guy. All right. So this guy is pretty much my neighbor. We got Tucker, age 30 from Boston, living in Brooklyn. He's a traitor. Go back to Boston, dude. Get the f out of Brooklyn. Um, marketing and sales exec. So I'm already getting Travis BB23 vibes. I'm thinking a lot of people are thinking that as well. I'm thinking he could probably be his brother. Now you can see already people are saying, please don't be racist. And a lot of people saying crazy things like he can do unholy things to my hole. Um, and also someone else saying he looks kind of like season 10 Dan Giesling. I totally agree with all of those things, except for the second one, because I don't want him anywhere near my hole. Yeah, crazy, bro. People on Twitter are absolutely just like, insane he is giving dan giesling he definitely is giving dan giesling what do i make of this guy like i don't know i feel like people because he because because he's from boston like he's definitely gonna give off like pooch vibes i i feel just like i mean he's not he's not gonna like pooch isn't from boston from what i remember but like he's definitely giving me like 
that dumbass vibe and i do think i do i will say i believe that they do cast dumbass white guys on this show on purpose look at the history of this show recently all right so we have a video right here looks like they're in a studio this is very strange i haven't okay let's let's check it out what's up i'm cam and i'm bringing all the good vibes mama's Hi, boy i'm too cool and i'm bringing the fashion to the big brother game i told you british what did i say Hi, I'm Rubina, and I'm bringing all the personality this season, baby. Oh, she's fun. She's like, okay, so Rubina is like giving me ja uh, Jasmine. She's giving me Jasmine vibes, but like a more likable Jasmine, I hope. Don't break your leg, Rubina. Hi, I'm Cedric, and I'm bringing loyalty to the Big Brother house. He's fun. I like him. Hey, I'm Joseph, and I'm bringing the laughs this summer to Big Brother. Little awkward. I can tell that yeah he's he's my he's the, he's definitely definitely like a blockbuster fucking dude. I'm Chelsea and I'm bringing the social game. <laughs> yeah, you're giving you're giving McCole, I think. <laughs> my name is Matt Hardim and I'm bringing to the Big Brother house a little bit more than meets the eye. Yeah, you're giving a whole lot of nothing is what I I think he's bringing. I he's giving yeah he's giving like. Clay Honeycut, like I'm gonna get in a showman's. This is the weird. First of all, can we just can we just assess what's going on here? Where where are they? Why why what is going on here with this background here? Are we like ignoring the fact that like where are why why what is going on? This angle, the fucking like people look awful at lower angles. What are we doing here? What are we doing? I'm Brooklyn and I'm bringing the sass class and a little badass to the house. She is giving. Hold on. Did we just get her on this season? Like, did we just get this chick on the season? Like, I'm pretty sure that this is this chick right here. That's, that's gotta be her. No, nah, I'm just, <laughs> that's really mean. But yeah, um. My name's Mackenzie and I'm bringing the tea. Oh man. Mackenzie and that dude are definitely getting into showmance. So there's no way they just, they, they just, ah. Aloha, I'm Kimo, and I'm bringing the Aloha. Kimo, okay, it was Kimo. A spirit, but also some drama. <laughs> oh, I like him. <laughs> I really like him. I'm Lisa, and I'm bringing the vibe. No one's gonna like her. <laughs> no one's gonna like her. Yes. I'm Kenny, and I'm bringing what always is brought to the Big Brother house is the unexpected. My name is Tucker, and I'm bringing the jokes and laughter in it. Yeah, he's getting canceled. <laughs> <laughs> he's getting canceled. Hi, I'm Leah, and I'm bringing the zings into the Big Brother house. Brittany Haynes. My name is Quinn, and I am bringing the live feed camera talk. Yes! Yes, bro! That is who I'm standing, bro. The Quinn, he is my winner pick. I want him to win. My name is Angela, and I am bringing the sauce to the Big Brother house. Oh, she's got to be first boot. There's no way. I don't know. Hello? Who is that? Who the f*** is that? What's up? Was that Derek? It's Derek X. <laughs> um, what the f***? Okay, so there's a 17th house guest. All right, let's check I'm out. A, I'm a big fan of this show. I mean, like, yeah, this opportunity means so much to me. Um, my journey with Big Brother started years and years and years and years ago when I was a kid. Um, and I've always wanted to play this game. I mean, I've applied to this show multiple times. So I'm so thankful that this time around, things kind of just like- Oh, okay, okay, here, all right, two things that are gonna happen with this guy. One, because he's been applying for so long, he's gonna really rush into playing the game. He might play too hard. That's what I think is gonna what's gonna happen. Two, he's either going to know how to play the game so well that he's gonna do really well. One of the two things is gonna happen. I would want to model myself after Dan, specifically in season 10. I thought his strategy of trying to appear weak at first and then coming on strong near the end is something that I here's the thing I, here's the thing that only works with Dan Giesling that strategy because he really projected a strong aura already about him like this guy he doesn't seem like he projects confidence and like like he doesn't seem like he could be strong in, in challenges like I wouldn't expect that already like I already look at him and I already perceive him as being a weaker competitor so I don't think that strat's gonna work for you bud my targets in the house would most definitely be people that are taking things way too personal. 
Um, I know the Big Brother house is what it is. Uh, you have to go in there not taking things personal, and there's been a lot of contestants in the past that have taken things personal. Uh, when I see things getting personal in the house, those are the people that I would like to target to get out because I don't want people taking things um, to another level and being angry with people over a game uh, that we all signed up to play. Good. Lo I love that very everybody old school mindset. I love that. I love that. I hope he does well. I, I really hope this guy does well. I will be the one to watch this summer if right hear me out i'm not gonna lie to you and be like oh everybody watch me i'm the best i feel like that's too arrogant for me but i'll be the one to watch if you like seeing people interact with other people you know if you want to see oh he really is giving me first boot vibes now all the drama all the tea from every direction you know being the no i don't know man he's giving like way early boot now most likable people are gonna tell me everything so you're like oh I wonder what's happening behind the scenes of the house. I, I really did like his I like I like his energy, but it, I feel like I'm I'm just thinking in my head. It's like this guy's gonna be out way too early. Like I don't know. I think I think he's gonna rub people the wrong way. I feel like he's way too excited. Some players that I'm definitely looking out for. I'm looking out for parents because I what it up, really bro? Am I a f psychic or what? Am I a fucking psychic? Roll back the tape. Roll back the tape, bro. I could see him aligning with Angela and being like a mother-son type of deal like alliance because you know he's half her age so i mean you look at that and it's kind of it's kind of it's something like that could happen i don't know oh my god oh wait hold on wait some players that i'm definitely looking out for i'm looking out for parents because i think parents really know how to manipulate people because they gotta learn how to talk to their kids and get them to do what they want to do so anybody that's a parent I would love to get into an alliance with her. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, okay. I thought he was going to say I want to target the parents, but bro, that's exactly what I said, bro. Oh my god, bro. My aura just went up to 1000 points right there. Oh my god, if I predict, if I bro, oh my god, if I just predicted the alliance between him and either the dad, the the old guy or the old woman, dude, I'm in, bro. Oh my god. Oh my god. I dude Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. My impressions are good. My impressions are good. No one really comes to mind. I'm not threatened or in intimidated. Oh, easily. the women are not going to like her. I the women are gonna not going to like her. Um, hear me out. Okay. I've been with my husband for like forever, and I feel like I am oh, the she's matchmaker married. of all of my friend group. So I can't wait to get into the house and find the two lovebirds, put them together, and be their little third wheel. For that is an awful strategy unless you're using them as a shield for like the beginning part of the game because i feel like if you go deep into the game with them they're not taking you power couples like it's hard to get them out though it's that's a real weird strategy i don't know i mean like kudos to you for trying that strategy like i don't think i've ever heard anybody say that so like cool i want to see if you were able to do that but like i don't know like that's weird that's a weird strategy house guest that I most likely will model my game after <sighs> probably Cody I guess I just I'll get the f out of here guys the video is over I'm done I'm done the video is over oh, man like go stop we gotta stop with these Cody things man I don't know that I would model my game after any house guests because I don't know who the other house guests are if I like to model my game after somebody else then I would need to know precisely that I was going in with the same exact house guests from previous seasons. But since I'm going in to my whole new, my whole, a whole new, a whole new world, you know, like since I'm going into a whole new world, I'm going to model after my own strategy. I have to come up with. Whoa. What was, what was that? What was that? Oh yeah. She's a recruit. Yeah, I know. I don't like her. I don't like her anymore. She's a recruit, man. So I am going to blaze my own trail, do things my own way. Oh, she's and gonna start fights, man. She is gonna. She's not. She's gonna be like. Really? Okay, I really gotta see this one. I really think the former house guest that I want to model my game after would definitely be Casey, off season twenty. She oh, okay, played yeah. Such a good game. She played an honest game. She helped her alliance, but she also Real. helped with the other side of the house. She was always sweet, always kind and she pulled through on comps when she needed to. I am definitely on the lookout for anybody who is like a Big Brother super fan. Like, I'm a fan of the show. Like, I love the show, but there's people who've got Bibles and like a mathematic equations that are like negative B plus or minus square root, B square minus, and I'm- Okay. 
my big bucket list right now is to be the first to walk in there and the last to come out. And You're definitely the first to walk in and out. <laughs> and break that whole stigma. It's like Zach Rance. This is like Which Zach Rance. Which former house guest would I model my game after? Well, it's kind of kind of more like Ian, honestly, compared to- Why is he like a Heisum and Zach hybrid? Uh, my favorite Juliism is <clears throat> love one another. <laughs> Stay with us. All right, so there's nothing, there's a lot of these videos coming out right now, but all I gotta say is if you wanna see all these videos and everything that I'm reacting to, just go on Twitter right now, hashtag BB26. You're gonna find a lot of Big Brother content coming out right now with all these interviews. I can't react to like every single piece of information I see. Um, there's so much and I want to get this video out for you right now just to see just so I can show you guys my first impressions on these cat on this, these cast members So go check that out. Also, if you're a new fan of this channel, go check out my other videos I do minecraft reality game shows and I do videos where I review game shows like big brother and survivor So go check those videos out I'd love doing video essays and if you have any ideas for videos for me drop a comment down below and I'll try to make them for you that's it for this video. We got Big Brother coming out Wednesday, July 17th and 18th. And then uh, I'll be also sharing some videos of the Big Brother New York City premiere party that Aza is throwing together. So hopefully you'll see me there if you're going. And if you see me there, don't feel afraid to say hi. I'm really nice. I promise. That's pretty much it. I'm looking forward to a great season. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the future.